one of our most popular destinations now is Spain. Um, you look at the, the, the quality of soccer players that they produce on both the men's and women's side are fantastic. Obviously, it is the number one sport of their country, and it's a beautiful destination. We base many of our trips around the Barcelona and or Madrid area. Um, some of our teams do a combination of, of both cities. Um, but when you look at, you know, the, the, the country lives and breathes soccer, but what we also try and do is submerge yourself in the Spanish culture. I'm a massive believer personally, and, and when you're traveling to these destinations, is to really embrace the culture and what they have to offer. Um, soccer is their number one sport, but there's so many other things to do in those beautiful cities. Boys and girls, competition is fantastic. Um, obviously, you know, professionally in the Barcelona and Madrid area, there's so many options, whether you're, you know, a recreational level team all the way through Division One men's and women's NCAA teams. We have options for everybody where they can find that relevant level. Looking at some of the areas, um, for example, in Barcelona, um, we use a beautiful destination in Costa Brava, which is 45 minutes northeast of the city of Barcelona. Uh, we have a number of three and four star hotels that have soccer fields attached to them. They, they back onto the beach and they are near enough yet far enough out of the city where you can focus on practice, you can focus on developing the team, but you're also in a super safe environment.